Alright guys, welcome today. Um, I have a bunch of maps today. <laughs> I said a bunch, I meant like a lot. Um, ignore my food that way. <laughs> but yeah, um, today I want to show you guys how to find some treasure chests with a uh, treasure chart. So, should be pretty easy. We can find a map that's for Frostmilk, which is this one right now. Okay, so we got an app on like Google. That I found on stream while streaming, right? We were talking and then anyways Basically, we got an app here right now over here And I'll probably link the uh, website in the description And it should be pretty self-explanatory here. So my map set left all my treasure on the high cliff high cliff doesn't matter that much, but it says a few pace west from the center so what that means is we just put this to all the way east west west yeah what's it was yeah it was west and then a few pace and that should display where the treasure chest would be right so there's also extra clues right like it's a high cliff high cliff sometimes means it could be anywhere honestly, but most of the time it's on like these edges hanging. If I can bring a shovel real quick, I'll show you guys where that is. I mean it's kind of self-explanatory, like a cliff, right? But So on the map Oh god, I, why am I so zoomed out? What happened there? <laughs> so the map is saying it should be like to the left a little bit, so it means we should probably go this way. And then we put pump. I had to pull it up again. Wow, that's like a, such a sharp cone shape. Um, I feel like it could be up here, honestly. There's a chance. Because it's still within the range. It might take us like, what? Five, ten minutes, maybe? Um, Getting used to like looking at the map and stuff. And then seeing where it is, right? It's kind of weird. Sometimes I. Because the map is not super zoomed. Oh, here we go. The map is not super zoomed in. Sometimes, like, you have to cover the edges of the black line, right? Which is where this treasure is on the cone, right? It displays. So, it wouldn't be, like, up there. Well, maybe it could be up there, but I don't think it would be, like, on top of the middle. Like, the, all the way on the top, probably not, but... Yeah, it's pretty accurate, and I think it's pretty useful. You know, definitely get to some treasure hunting, guys, if... If you wanna level up, maybe it's pretty good for levels, honestly. But in general, if you want some treasure, I wanna sell this real quick, and maybe we can do another one. Cause sometimes it gets really hard, but sometimes it's pretty easy, like that one. Now I do have a lot of maps, so that's kind of a problem because wow, well, <laughs> it means I could find treasure anywhere, honestly, and. I got another Frostman one, well, I say another, but I probably have like a bunch of others one. <laughs> so this one is North Northeast. So if we go to North Northeast, that's Northwest, North East, and I think that one's on the edge. Oh wow, that's back in the town. Okay, well, basically the bigger the island, the harder it is to find, obviously, but... Yeah, I mean, if you guys really want to like go hunt down like a legendary chart or something, I have not found a single one. I don't know why, guys. Uh, did I find a single rare one? Nope. Okay. Um, what was this one? On the edge. So it could be like, oh my god. Anyways, it could be like up there sometimes. I think. I think I found one up here sometimes. It's just the edge of the sea, right? Did it say edge of the sea? No, it says in the snow near the ocean. So it wasn't the sea. Like it's weird. Like sometimes it can be up here and like really odd spot, right? That's really high up. But it's not this time, so I just you know dig around the ocean near the snow, right? So. I don't know, I'm not the greatest at reading, but, you know, it, it gets the job done, probably, you know? A little bit of help with the map. Hot 
some hemp. A little bit of this. And I haven't found it yet. Oh my lord. I am gonna flip out if it takes forever. I need to sleep. Okay, so. I think it covers the entire edge. So it could be on this edge here. Okay, let's just keep going. I don't know, man. It could be a little bit inside, I think, sometimes. Because um, technically, this is still within the realm. Or the border of the ocean. Um, I don't think it's usually spawned near the town. But it could definitely be, like, outside here, I guess. I mean, I'll check it, you know? Oh, and here we go. But yeah, that's lucky. Sometimes it isn't really on spawn. And I'm definitely gonna hunt down another... Like a different version besides Showtown, right? Because there's. I don't know. Um, I probably can't do all of them today because it is 11 p.m. <laughs> I try to do whatever I can though, like of the treasure map. But we'll continue doing another one because I think that was kind of biased because we had a lot of Frost Mill map, I think at least. Oh, attack size fair. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> that wasn't even from the bronze chest, but. Um, let's sell this real quick. And what else do we have? So the next one, the closest one. I know I got a lot from Shelltown, right? And I probably oh a bunch of frost mill ones. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Oh my. Good. Okay, they're all Shelltown and Windroll for me, guys. Sometimes it's at Ravana, right? That's a really popular area. A curious keep is not that popular. Frost mill. But yeah, it's mostly Frost Mill, Ravana, Shell Island, Shelltown Island, or whatever for me, with the treasure, of course. But yeah, as you can see, just hang around like Ravana, Frost, maybe even not Ravana. That area is huge, but Shelltown and Frost Mill, I think, is somewhat worth doing. Yeah, um, I'll probably do a few of Frost Mill ones, and I'll, I'll just skip to Shelltown for you guys. We already did like two here. Oh wow, this spot is in a really odd spot. Um, but if you look at the map, guys, it's touching like where I am right now. It's at the, I don't know if you can see my mouse, but you could probably see it, but it's all the way to the right of that corner. So sometimes these chests are in cheeky spots, man. Oh my goodness, oh my God. I think if I went down, like, and when digging below the sea it will probably would have taken me like at least 10 minutes oh my god but like, yeah you make sure to check the really odd spot first maybe i don't know i guess then again it's kind of preference but i like to check the odd spot first then did i pick up everything by the way guys um i don't know if i did Maybe I'm boring you with my uh, very amazing jumping skill. Actually, godlike. Right, spamming T. Uh, oh yeah, I'm such an idiot. I actually left one behind. Anyways, yeah. Um, I should be going to Shelltown now. Well, in a video at least, right? Hopefully, nothing crazy happens. No way. I got disconnected. <sighs> That means I lost all my map that I've been collecting for like who knows god how long. Cause you guys saw how I like have 40 maps and whatever but ah, shit man. That's so unlucky but yeah I mean since I can't go to Shelltown anymore I just tell you guys about it. <laughs> um but there are cheeky spots and most of them sometimes they're near the towns. And like, yeah, just check for cheeky spot, you know? If you think it's barely within range, definitely check the area so it doesn't take you guys too much time. Even though we have like, what? <laughs> a map to like guide us, right? Like, the borderline is still within range, honestly. Like, yeah. Um. Anyways, I'll see you guys another time, you know? Link in the description, by the way, for treasure chart locator. <laughs> Man, I wanna. Man, I wanted to get some arc sphere. Man, can't get them. 
for like one of these past two weeks and I already got sunken. What's going on? 